Hi, dear students, welcome back to computer science class. We have already learned basic terminologies, modes of communication and switching techniques in our previous session. And switching techniques is one of the most important topics in uh, data communication and switching techniques like uh, circuit switching, message switching and packet switching, right? And today we have two very important topics for discussion, data communication terminologies and network devices. Here also we do discuss on data terminologies, data communication terminologies. Of course, we'll be looking at uh, some advanced terminologies, okay? Then network devices uh, like modem, gateway, router, lot of devices are there. Actually, we'll be uh, looking at 10 specific devices, okay? Yes, moving on. Okay, uh, communication, data communication terminologies. Uh, we have channel first, okay? Channel, you know what actually channel is? Channel is a path that helps in data transmission. That's it, okay? Channel is a communication path through which data is transmitted from the center device to the receiver device. That means simply we can define it as what? Channel is a communication path that helps in data transmission. Okay. Yes. And actually we do uh, transfer data from sender to receiver, right? So it's to destination. So a channel helps us or uh, that acts as a path through which we can send data from the sender to receiver. Okay. Next one, board. Board is of course a technical, technical terminology. Um, it might be uh, somewhat uh, infamiliar to you. Board. Okay. Board means simply what? Uh, bits per second that's what board is right and uh, in networking devices you could see the terminology board uh, one board or board okay yes board simply means bits per second and uh, the number of changes in a signal per second is known as board that means number of signal change per second number of signal changes per second is called a board then it is uh, measuring it is a measuring unit of data transfer rate uh, technically, board refers to the number of discrete signal elements transmit, transmitted per second. That means one board represents only one signal change per second and is equivalent to, of course, bit per second. Bit per second means one bit transmitted per second, right? One bit transmitted per second from the sender to the receiver and board is equivalent to BPS, bits per second, okay? Board is the technical term. That's the difference. Uh, the most um, commonly used term is BPS, bits per second. KBPS, MBPS, GBPS, all that, right? Yes, but uh, board is a technical term. Board uh, is equivalent to bits per second, BPS, okay? That means the number of signal changes per second. That means one board means one signal change per second, okay? Yes. Next one, bandwidth. Bandwidth simply means width of the band, okay? Width of the band, just like uh, our local road and uh, NH, okay? National highway. You know the difference. Our local road, uh, it's, it's somewhat narrow, right? Uh, three, three meter, four meter. It's it's narrow, narrow width, right? But bandwidth means having uh, 12, 12 meters or fourteen meters, sixteen meters. That means it it is it is having what huge width, right? So what is the advantage of having huge width? The, a lot of uh, vehicle can be vehicles can be what uh, travel at a time, right? And uh, it, it it has such a carrying capacity. Of course, the speed also increases because it has such a wide uh, width, such a width as well as uh, data carrying capacity will also be higher and the speed will also be getting increased okay yes so bandwidth means the amount of data that can be what passed along a communication channel in a given period of time okay you have to know that in a given period of time is termed as bandwidth that means the amount of data that can be passed along a communication channel in a given period of time okay that means one second that, that's a, a common standard one second the measuring unit is of course heads okay frequency yes were uh, 103 uh, hertz equal to 1 kilohertz, okay? Then 103 kilohertz equal to 1 megahertz, yes. You know, these are some of the units, okay? So, bandwidth simply means uh, the, the capacity or the amount of data uh, that a transmission medium can carry for a given period of time, okay? For a fixed period of time, how much, how much data a transmission medium can carry? That's what bandwidth is, the width, width of the band, okay? Yes. Then data and signals. Data means what? That is a passive entity, right? Data is what uh, actually, that is what we want to transfer from the sender to the receiver, right? And data is a passive entity and signal means uh, data when at the time of uh, transferring, sending and it travels to the medium, right? In the form of signal, especially electric signals because we make use of copper wires, right? Yes. So, data is converted to signals. Data uh, is a passive entity. That is what we store in our computer. And that, uh, that data is passed to the destination. So, uh, using uh, through the communication channel or, to, or, to, or through the path, it is transferred or it is passing as signals. Okay, electric signals, yeah. 
then uh, let's look at the definition information that is stored within computer systems and transferred over a computer network uh, that can be divided in two categories data and signals that means information that is stored in a computer system that's what actually data is and transferred over a computer means computer network can be okay data are entities that are stored in the form of ones and zeros you know that right computer stores data in the form of ones and zeros computer can store anything in each and everything only in the form of ones and zeros which convey some special meaning to the computer system of course it is a coded form it uh, that is stored in the coded form ones and zeros when the data is transmitted from one place to another place it is converted into signal okay uh, here comes a role of uh, signal meaning i have already told you data is just a passive entity uh, that is a form uh, computer stores the content right yes and uh, it stores data in ones and zeros the coded form and just at the time of transferring it to uh, the destination that means uh, passing through the wire or to the cable it will be uh, what converted to uh, signal right yes it is converted to signal and signals are the electric or electromagnetic encoding of data that are used to transmit data okay uh, because uh, data is uh, normally passed to uh, copper wise okay so it, it should be uh, it can be passed only in the form of electric pulses right or electromagnetic encoding of data so this this is what actually data and uh, what signals are okay yes. then communication or transmission media uh, media means uh, of course uh, that helps in data transmission it is a means of communication or access lines of communication set up between two organizations to exchange data information communication media is a way of transmitting the signal from one place to another place okay it is the way it is a path it is a route of transmitting signal from one place to another place and communication media is also known as transmission media it plays a very important role vital role in sending and receiving data from uh, to and from uh, from at the sender and the receiver and communication or transmission media actually there are two media wired media and wireless media right wired media means uh, there will be a physical connection between the sender and the receiver it may not be uh, most of the time no, it will not be direct right yes okay we do follow client server architecture and we will have a number of servers and we are connected to that server it will be stored for a temporary time and for forwarded to the next okay that is what actually happens here in uh, internet communication or network communication having a huge number of computers and machines okay yes but uh, okay that, that's what uh, uh, transmission media wired media is right we can call it as gated media okay wired media or gated media having some physical connection but in wireless media that's the second uh, second one uh, wireless media or ungated media which does not have any physical connection okay which make use of radio signals or microwave or infrared for communication that's the difference okay so communication uh, media or transmission media uh, is a means of communication or um, that set up between two organization to set for exchange data okay yes then data transfer rate we have already seen data transfer rate bits per second right and uh, the technical terminology is baud yes it is the amount of data transferred in one direction over a link divided uh, by the time taken to transfer in uh, bits per second the various measuring units are bits per second or bytes per second it can be you, you could see the difference right when we write small b it, it stands for bits and when we write capital letter b it means byte okay always uh, remember this small b stands for bits and caps b for bytes or we can say baud okay uh, kilobits per second megabits per second gigabits per second terabits per second okay peta yeah uh, it goes on like that okay so uh, data transfer rate means the rate uh, of transferring data okay usually it is measured in bits per second or we can say baud okay but the as i told you the most commonly used terminology is uh, bits per second bbs bps okay then we have bps and bps bps small bits per second b caps bytes per second and yeah? uh, kilobits per second megabits uh, terabits petabits gigabits okay yes so these are the main technical terminologies okay channel the path helps in data transmission baud number of signal changes per second one baud means one signal change per second bandwidth uh, the the carrying capacity for a given period of time data and signal data passive entity that's what stored in the computer in the form of ones and zeros and when you want to transfer it to the uh, another place it will be transferred in the form of signals okay electric pulses electromagnetic or electrical signals here yeah. and communication transmission media of course uh, wired and wireless media that helps in data transmission okay then data transfer rate uh, the rate through what uh, the rate of transferring the data right the rate of that transferring the data usually measured in bits per second and, uh, kilobits megabits gigabits uh, terabits okay yes now we have uh, our second topic and of course uh, it is uh, a very very important topic network devices and we do establish networks 
uh, not only using computers right we need uh, some other devices uh, for establishing a network computer network and uh, these devices acts as uh, what the uh, plays vital role in uh, establishing a network okay other than computers of course computer is a must but along with computers or along with uh, machines these all devices plays a vital role okay play a vital role yeah so we have uh, modem rj45 ethernet card hub switch router bridge uh, gateway repeater and wifi card okay we have 10 uh, specific or uh, devices for discussion okay uh, the specialties you could see all these devices at your home at, uh, in, in the school everywhere you could see uh, all most of these devices okay yes so let's uh, start with modem a uh, modem uh, is a communication device that's a most commonly used device you could see when you establish an internet connection right yes isp internet service provider uh, provides us with a uh, modem okay provides a modem okay yes a modem uh, it stands for modulation demodulation or we can say modulator demodulator here comes modulator demodulator okay it's an electronic device that enables a computer to transmit data over telephone lines keep in mind it enables a computer to transmit data over a telephone line uh, telephone lines okay it is a device used to convert digital signals to analog signals and vice versa uh, there are two types of modems uh, internal modem and external modem okay uh, one uh, that is provided by the isp and uh, one uh, uh, by the what uh, from the user end okay yes then uh, modem modem stands for modulation demodulation okay modulator demodulator and it performs two basic functions modulation and demodulation first we look at modulation modulation is the process of converting digital to analog okay please uh, never um, what go in trouble with this confusing with this okay uh, I, I'll, I'll make it more clear modulator mod here uh, the terminology starting means ending with d right mod and the definition itself is also starting with d that is digital to analog okay yes mod mod ending with d and definition starting with d starts with d that is digital to analog okay so modulation is the process of converting digital signal to analog signal and demodulation of course about analog signal to digital signal you just uh, remember uh, memorize only one okay because uh, it's just at the time of uh, what getting into both these terminologies it may definitely end into a con what uh, confusion okay so just uh, get into only one definition that mo modulation digital to analog okay demodulation uh, what analog to digital and what is importance of converting uh, analog to digital and digital to analog actually suppose uh, uh, we are uh, sending some uh, something to our friend okay using our computer and he is also having he she is also having computer okay machine yeah so from our, our end uh, we we send hi whatsapp right hi whatsapp okay that's message we are sending so how it happens is we'll type okay whatsapp uh, uh, whatsapp okay whatsapp yes uh, so um, uh, it will be what we'll type it and uh, we'll present it okay and uh, it, it goes to what now the signal is in which format digital because computer can perform everything in digital format so uh, it, it moves to what the modem and modem converts the digital signal to analog signal by just why because uh, uh, through modem just after modem uh, we have copper wires right copper wire or some other kind of okay so copper wire can transmit only analog signal right we have seen it in our previous session it can tra uh, transmit uh, only what it can transfer only uh, analog signals so it should be converted a computer has data in digital format and that should be converted to analog format uh, just because uh, it is carried uh, over by over through what uh, copper wire okay and just after reaching at the destination your friend's uh, computer there will also be a modem and that modem converts now the uh, signal is in which format analog format right yes now the signal in analog format and uh, your friend's modem convert that into digital format again because uh, there is also a computer okay your friend is also having a computer and uh, computer can read only ones and zeros now the signal is in uh, what analog and that should be converted to digital okay just for reading it right yes that's all modulation demodulation it is very simple okay yes next one rj45 connector rj stands for registered jack okay rj45 connector is a standard connector a standard type of connector for network cables the rj45 registered jack connectors are used to uh, plug in devices are the plug in devices used in networking and telecommunication applications uh, these are used primarily for connecting lans particularly the internet okay rj45 is a short uh, term for registered jack 45 it is an eight uh, wire connector used to connect computers on lans especially the internet okay you know what actually rj45 is okay uh, at the back side of your cpu 
uh, there is there is a what network interface card right ethernet card and uh, your what uh, that white cable you know white cable okay uh, coming uh, from the uh, modem we are plugging in into the uh, at the back side of your cpu right and that place is called what uh, ethernet card or network interface card okay and the the, the uh, connector you know that connector that glass type connector right it has eight pins okay it has eight pins and that is what plugging into the into that port okay that connector is called rj45 okay that uh, lightweight uh, glass type connector is called rj45 okay yes and we have another connector rj11 and it's mainly used in telephone okay and uh, it has only um, four four wires okay four wire connector yeah rj11 rj11 is used that's a small one very small one right yes and it's used in uh, normal uh, telephone okay uh, connected to our uh, telephone uh, land phone okay yes uh, that's what rj11 is and it has only uh, four wires four wire connector okay and uh, here rj45 is uh, used to connect uh, ethernet cable ethernet cable or uh, lan cable we can call it this lan cable okay uh, to the uh, what cpu or to uh, specifically we can say what uh, to the ethernet card okay yes or we get it rj45 the standard connector glass type connector okay yes next one ethernet card it's a hardware that helps in uh, uh, the connection of nodes with uh, uh, within a network ethernet card also known as uh, network card okay or network interface card uh, network adapter okay it's a card that allow computer to communicate over a computer network on ethernet card a physical address of each communicating computer is mentioned physical address is known as mac address okay uh, ethernet card is a card uh, network interface card lan card or it's also called what ethernet card okay these are the three terminologies referring to the same thing that card okay and what actually uh, it does is uh, what ethernet cables from uh, some network will be connected to that card and that card acts as a interface between uh, your computer and the internet okay your computer is uh, on one end and uh, what internet uh, comes under the other end so it acts as an interface right yes it's also known as Ma uh, mac address okay also known as mac address mac address means media access control media access control okay address it is related to uh, the um, what uh, what to say address physical address okay physical address yes physical address okay yes so this is about a uh, modern rj45 and ethernet card then uh, next we have two devices called hub and switch okay hub actually hub here is a device and you know uh, it is a device you can see number of ports okay yes number of ports uh, then uh, these uh, computers and which are connected to these ports okay not only computers some other devices can also be connected to this yes so uh, all the computers are connected to this device okay this and this is uh, it acts as a junction right it acts as a junction and all the connections from uh, various uh, computers are uh, what um, um, what to say um, joint right or combine in this single device called what hub okay yes hub is a multi port you could see multiple ports right multi port and unintelligent network it is unintelligent why because we are coming to it okay uh, it's a multi port unintelligent network device uh, which simply transfer data from one port to uh, another port okay uh, port of a network to another a hub, hub is a hardware device used to connect several computers together with different ports okay hub is a hardware device used to connect several computers together with different ports when a packet reaches one port it is copied to all other ports of the hub suppose uh, one uh, connection comes here what actually hub does is uh, it copies what uh, it to copies the data uh, or the address everything to all other ports okay without changing the destination address in the frame frame is a part of uh, the message okay the data rather it simply copies the data to all the nodes connected to the hub yes actually it doesn't do anything big it simply copies uh, the frame or the address or the data to all the nodes without even checking the destination address right yes and uh, hubs can uh, yes hubs can uh, be either active or passive okay hubs can usually support uh, 8 uh, 12 or uh, 24 rj 45 ports okay it can be having 8 ports 8 port hub is there 12 port hub is there 24 uh, ports hub is there that means uh, 8 ports hub you can uh, connect only 8 uh, computers or devices 12 12 devices and 24 24 devices that's it okay but the problem with the hub is that it is not intelligent device it's not an intelligent device it share bandwidth uh, it share bandwidth with all the attached devices and broadcast the data that is sends the data frame to all connected nodes and it does not remember the devices 
uh, computers connected to it and also it cannot filter the data uh, and cause unnecessary uh, traffic jams. Okay. Actually, uh, the problem with uh, Hub is it copies uh, the entire information to all the uh, ports, okay, and without even checking uh, that national address or anything else, okay. Uh, so it shares the bandwidth with all the attached devices and broadcast the data, uh, sends the data frame to all the connected network, okay. It doesn't remember uh, the devices or computers connected to it. That's a problem, okay. It doesn't divide what uh, remember the computer or the address of the computers or devices connected to it. And it cannot even filter the data. Okay, it cannot even filter the data, so it causes uh, unnecessary jams. A hub can both send uh, as well as receive information, but only one task at a time. Okay, it's another problem. Only one task can be performed at a time. However, hub is inexpensive uh, way to connect. Okay, so uh, most of the time hub and uh, switch are used interchangeably. Okay, so no problem. But uh, switch is uh, somewhat intelligent than hub. Okay, hub is a device used to connect several computers with each other. So this is what actually a hub is. A hub acts as a junction where all the uh, uh, Ethernet cables from uh, different computers are joined to get means joined, okay. And what actually happens is uh, hub copies all the information uh, to all other nodes, okay. Uh, it doesn't even check, it doesn't even uh, remember uh, the address or anything, okay. Yes, uh, the address of other computers or the data, so uh, it, it um, cannot filter the data as well, so uh, it causes uh, traffic jumps, okay. Yes. It is inexpensive though, so this is the most commonly used, of course, okay, other than switch, yeah. Switch and hubs are most commonly used, okay, yes. Next one is switch. Switch hub uh, is a network device which is used to interconnect computers or devices on a network. It filters and forwards data packets across a network. That is what actually uh, hub also does, okay. Then it is also a multi-port device, okay. It's also a multi-port device, but with some, but with some intelligence. And so the data packets received from one port to network are refreshed and delivered to other ports of the network. Okay. The main difference between hub and switch is that hub replicates what it receives on one port to all other ports, right? Yes, hub uh, replicate or copy to all other nodes, all other ports. While switch is a device that transmits, yeah, while switch keeps a record of the MAC address of the device and to it. Okay. Uh, switch can remember. Okay. It can remember, it has a capacity to remember uh, what the uh, MAC address, that means uh, the internal or the physical address of other devices attached to it. A switch is a device that transmits data uh, to a uh, computer in a LAN, okay. Yes, so these are the difference between uh, hub and switch, okay. Both are multiple devices and both are used to uh, have connection from multiple devices and access a junction and the uh, uh, difference is hub uh, is an unintelligent machine device and uh, switch is an intelligent uh, device. And uh, uh, hub, what does is it copies or replicate uh, what uh, the address or uh, what what it receives, okay, uh, to all other nodes, but uh, which uh, cannot uh, keep uh, uh, keep tracking uh, what the address or anything, okay. Yes, but a switch can switch has the capacity to keep track of the record of uh, MAC address and everything, okay. Yes. So these are the differences, okay. There won't be much jam here in switch, okay. Then bridge. Actually, what is a bridge? What is a real time bridge, real life bridge, okay. Actually bridge used to connect to different places, right. Yes, here in uh, networking, uh, uh, bridge is a device that uh, works on physical layer as well as uh, data link layer, okay. What are these layers? Actually we do follow ISO OSI, okay. ISO OSI, International Standards Organization, OSI, Open Systems Interconnection, okay. It is an architecture, okay. Uh, it is a generic architecture followed in uh, networking actually there are two architectures okay one is ISO OSI open systems interconnection and the second is TCP IP transmission control protocol internal protocol and ISO OSI consists of seven layer seven layers okay PD and TSPA physical all these are layers okay physical layer data link layer PD and network layer transport layer PD and TSPA session layer presentation layer and application layer okay Physical, data link, network, transport, session, presentation, application, seven layers. But in TCP IP, uh, it's, it's a specific one, okay. The OSI is a generic one and uh, TCP IP is derived from OSI and it has only five layers, okay. Yeah, physical, uh, data link, network, transport and session presentation application together to form application layer, okay. So, total five layers and uh, bridge actually works on both physical layer and data link layer. Physical layer uh, deals with what? All the uh, physical medium, okay, like our uh, cables, okay, all those kind of things, and data link layer 
uh, used to link the data okay yes so bridge belongs to these two devices actually bridge is a device that connects uh, devices uh, what uh, from uh, different networks uh, that follow the same protocol okay actually we have two devices bridge and uh, what gateway okay bridge and gateway just like hub and switch okay there is difference between bridge and gateway uh, bridge connects uh, what uh, different lands following the same protocol bridge connects different lands locally area networks that or we can say simply networks that follow same protocol but uh, gateway is, is a device that used to connect what uh, different or uh, different lands following different protocols okay uh, bridge connecting multiple uh, networks following the same protocol and gateway connects uh, multiple uh, lands following different protocol that's the difference okay yes a network bridge connect multiple network segments uh, at the data link layer uh, it's a layer 2 of osi model okay yes uh, bridges relay frames uh, between two originally uh, two original separate segments okay when a frame enters a bridge uh, the bridge not only re regenerates the signal but also check the physical address of the destination and forward the new copy only to that port okay that means uh, specific it won't copy uh, that signal or the uh, address to all other ports okay it's uh, what send it to the specific port okay an important advantage of using a bridge is that uh, it is sm uh, smarter than hub okay as it can filter network traffic on the base of mac addresses mac address is what the exact uh, uh, physical address okay of the destination a bridge is a device that uh, links two segments together of uh, the network original network okay so it is a it is more it an advantage an important advantage of uh, what bridge is that it's smarter than hub okay as it can filter network traffic and it's used to connect uh, different uh, lands of following same protocol okay yes next one gateway a gateway is a device that connects dissimilar networks following different protocols in internet several uh, networks are communicating with each other and each other has a different configuration in order to make a uh, reliable communication there must be a device that helps in communicating okay gateway is a device which establishes an intelligent connection between local area network and uh, external uh, networks completely different structures okay that means uh, gateway is a device that uh, connects uh, different networks uh, following different protocols okay that's it a gateway is a device that connects dissimilar networks dissimilar networks means uh, networks following different protocols but uh, bridge uh, connects uh, dif uh, dissimilar network uh, dis dissimilar networks following the same protocol okay that's different yeah next one is a repeater repeater as the name suggests repeater repeats a signal okay strengthen signal improve the quality not the quality strength of the signal okay a repeater is a device that operates only on the physical layer of the osi model it operates only on physical layer of osi okay as a signal travels at a fixed distance a fixed distance before attenuation of the signal attenuation means uh, losing the strength of the signal okay attenuation is mean uh, uh, that means uh, losing the strength of the signal that means okay when something uh, uh, when the data is transferred or uh, passing through uh, any physical medium copper wire or any any kind of medium uh, after a, after uh, some distance okay after some uh, distance the uh, strength of the signal will lose definitely okay so uh, repeater is the device that plays a vital role here in uh, improving the strength of the signal okay a repeater is used which amplifies and restores signal for long distance transmission a repeater is an electronic device that receives a signal before it comes too weak and regenerates to original signal that means it is used to amplify it is used to amplify the signal whenever it's getting low okay meaning it whenever it is uh, getting what, what to say uh, uh, attenuation happens right yes also it is a two port uh, network device uh, that strengthens the signals in density and connects to, uh, to identical networks okay uh, in most twisted pair ethernet configuration repeaters are required for cables run uh, more longer than 100 meters okay uh, just after reaching or more than 100 meters uh, the strength of the signal loses then at the time repeater will be installed okay then repeater does not change the functionality of the network instead it makes only signal strong before it degrades okay degradation uh, to avoid degradation of signals okay we are losing the strength of the signal we are uh, applying this uh, installing this repeater okay repeater is a device that amplifies the signal that is transmitted across the network so that signal is received in the same way it is sent okay signal uh, that means repeater is a device that is used to strengthen the signal why strengthen the signals because uh, after uh, going through uh, going through uh, the medium uh, for a long a long uh, distance the strength of the signal may be 
uh, lose okay and there is a possibility of losing the strength of the single so uh, it should be what amplified so here comes a role of repeat okay we have another de device called amplifier right amplifier there is a difference between amplifier and repeater you know that amplifier and repeater repeater repeats only the signal okay but amplifier repeats both the signal and the noise noise means unwanted disturbances okay uh, so amplifier the device amplifier uh, is uh, what uh, which uh, also in um, strengthen or amplify the signal as well as the noise okay here repeater will not uh, uh, repeat or amplify the noise that's the difference between rep uh, repeater and uh, what amplifier okay yes then we have router uh, router is a device uh, that forward data packets from the source machine to the destination machine by using the shortest path Route, uh, routers are uh, used uh, at the network layer which is a third layer of OSI okay routers are used in network layer a router is a network device uh, that uh, helps in forwarding packets from one machine to another machine okay that means router is simply a device uh, that, that, that uh, shows the route right router or router okay router is a device that uh, used to give the route uh, from one uh, one point to another point that's it okay router works on network layer of OSI that's a third layer right that's a third layer of OSI and uh, actually uh, you know uh, modem how modem modulation demodulation modulator demodulator it consists of uh, some other devices actually uh, all these are integrated right like uh, router is uh, will, router will be there gateway will be there so modem acts as a, a multi-purpose device right multi-functionality device modem does not only works uh, like a modem only a modem only as a modem uh, it works like a gateway it works like a router okay it has all these functionalities yes always keep in mind that okay yes then last one wi-fi card wi-fi card means what wireless fidelity card right wi-fi card is used to establish wi-fi that's it okay wi-fi card is uh, either an internal or an external local area network adapter uh, with a built-in wireless radio and antenna okay with a what with a with a built-in wireless radio and antenna a wi-fi card is used in desktop computer that enables a user to establish an internet connection wi-fi cards are known as wireless fidelity cards as they allow user to set up connection without any wire so uh, here comes the uh, role of Wi-Fi card. Uh, okay, suppose you have a machine, you have a, a desktop. Okay, not a laptop, desktop. The laptop will have uh, built-in mechanism of Wi-Fi. Okay, so uh, there is no uh, extra feature is needed, right? Okay, so if you, okay, uh, here comes uh, another point. That is, uh, if your laptop um, Wi-Fi is not working, you can install a Wi-Fi card to your laptop, no problem. But uh, a desktop, uh, okay, actually uh, the need is of a desktop, right? Yes. Uh, so desktop uh, will not have any uh, most of the time there will not be any any uh, Wi-Fi card okay built-in by Wi-Fi facility so uh, what we do is uh, we'll install a Wi-Fi card okay so it provides wireless fidelity that's it okay uh, cards are widely used in uh, notebook computers due to their highly portable nature okay uh, the most com common Wi-Fi cards are used in cards used in desktop computers or PC Express okay and that's yeah that's a name okay Wi-Fi cards are made to fit PC Express uh, card slot on uh, the motherboard okay so motherboard uh, must also support this right otherwise it, it cannot work okay so this is about wi-fi card used to set up wi-fi in our desktop mainly in desktop okay yes we have uh, wi-fi built in wi-fi in our laptop no need of that okay but uh, desktop yes so it's an adapter actually okay yes. so these are the devices okay uh, modem rj45 ethernet card hub switch bridge gateway repeater router and wi-fi card okay so this all are very very important topics uh, just to go through this as, if, uh, as as you could always see this is all about the theory stuff right so um, you must have uh, you must go through this right okay so uh, we have gone through uh, what network devices as well as uh, terminologies uh, advanced terminology right yes so uh, just go through all this okay we can have uh, some other topics like uh, types of network LAN man and WAN and transmission media topology all those kind of things in our coming classes okay so thank you thank you for watching have a nice time See you in the next video. Take care.